I'm Darren Karp, and on with me now is double the trouble. From TLC, I have the lovely Darcy and Stacy in the house. How are you two doing today? Hey, I'm everybody. doing great. Thank you, guys. Very good. I love the excitement. Welcome Safe back to the show, you two. I missed you. How have you both been doing since I last spoke to you? Wow, it's been a whirlwind, and I am, like, living on cloud nine right now here in uh, New York City right now today, um, enjoying some twin twin time together, and really excited to be here with you to celebrate and share all the amazing news. Yes. Oh, yeah, so many updates between you two. Darcy, I know things have changed for you because you are, in fact, engaged, my lady. You and your fiancé, Georgie, <laughs> secretly on the secret DL got engaged mm -hmm. in June. Tell me everything about this. Yeah, it was the most beautiful day. I mean, honestly, I was shocked, to be honest with you. I actually thought, because um, we had a little bit of ups and downs around then, but in the best moment ever, he popped the question, you know, and I just had to just lean back and just trust, you know, myself and our relationship and just really know that, you know, he does love me and we can have a beautiful future together. So I'm really excited it finally happened and my dreams are coming true, you know? So I'm really, really looking forward to what the future holds. Together. I don't see the rock on your hand today, but you deliberately didn't wear it because you were yes. traveling. Yes, I just want yes. the audience to not. Uh... Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't able to wear the ring yet because I'm traveling in New York and I didn't want to give any spoilers, but it's safe and sound at home and I'm dying to put it back on. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh my God, it looks beautiful. You know, you've had your share of heartbreak on television. Mm -hmm. We've all been privy to getting to watch this vulnerability that you've shared. When did you know that Georgie was the one and were you worried about getting hurt this time? Yeah, you know, I had a lot of time to heal after those heartbreaks and I really just kind of honed within and just really this time I knew I, I was stronger and ready for a relationship and one that I was very deserving of. Um, when I knew, actually, when we first kind of gazed eyes, I knew he was someone really special and going to be in my life for a very long time. It just felt right. The connection flowed. I mean, no relationship's perfect. We obviously go through some of our ups and downs that you see on the show. But, you know, what doesn't hurt you makes you stronger. And that's exactly the situation. And we love each other. And we're going to do whatever it takes to make our relationship blossom and grow and, and be stronger. So... It's beautiful. It's kind of like when you least expect it, that's when it really happens. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a blessing. That. And, and, you know, Stacy, I see a big smile on your face for your <laughs> sister. How happy are you for Darcy? And do you and Georgie get along? Or are you going to be made of honor, I'm assuming? <laughs> um, you know, a lot of those details, they're in the making. So, you know, we'll figure that out step by step. Obviously, I'm Of course, she's my like twin. <laughs> and <laughs> made of honor. <laughs> Yeah, but, and you and um, Georgie get along. Like, you're happy that this all came to fruition? Are you happy how it went down for your sister? You know, I think it was just, you know, they both, you know, felt it was right. So, you know, he chose to pop the question the way he did. And, you know, I got to give it to him. And if he loves my sister, then he has my blessing. You know, I know 2020 has been a weird year, to say the least, for everyone. But do you have any wedding plans yet that you can share with us, Darcy? Um, I'm going to give you guys a little hint and maybe it has something to do with maybe a twin wedding, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But definitely something near the water. Something near the water. A twedding. A twedding. I've never heard maybe. one. We'll, no. see. <laughs> we'll see what the future holds with that as well. But um, Stacey deserves something amazing yeah. as well. And so do I. And, you know, everybody's gone through a lot this year with the COVID and the pandemic and um, being able to live our lives and have you know, a lot of our dreams come true during this time. You know, we deserve to have that beautiful moment when we say, you know, I do, Georgie and I. So I envision it, maybe oh, I think water we'll or, or on a boat. Yeah. We'll see. We would love to see it. Now, Stacey, you recently married your husband, Florian, in a secret wedding during quarantine. Yes. You two are full of secrets here. <laughs> not, I know. Know. Secrets. <laughs> not even your twin sister was invited, my lady. Why oh, is that? Oh. You know, um, obviously the COVID, it was right during the, um, the beginning of the pandemic when right, right when lockdown was, and um, it was a scary time. And our health was, you know, the most important and um, my children's health and our family's health. So we did not want to risk anything. And we felt that, you know, we had no time to waste. So we just did it. We made a, you know, a good judgment call for ourselves. And it's what we did. And, you know, we can always celebrate however many times we choose. <laughs> and, and Darcy, were you upset about this or did you sort of understand just given the circumstances of yeah. everything going on this right. year? Yeah. I was just a little shocked that it happened um, in that manner, but you have to understand the situation at hand. And I looked 
deeply into that. And I just want her happy first and foremost. That's all that matters. And if she's happy, I'm happy. So if it's a quarantine wedding or a big castle wedding, yes. it doesn't matter as long as Stacey's happy.